And they'll take a knee as the clock ticks down toward 50 seconds to go. On third down, Fournette. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Now the Titans will use their third and final timeout as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Suck up on for the field goal. A 24 yard attempt. And the 11 year veteran bangs it through. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. All right, so time to reset here. It's a huge kick there, gives them the lead, but they've got to be careful that their celebrations aren't a little too premature. You're exactly right about that because there still is time for the other guys to run a few plays and get into field goal position. So this defense is going to need to come up with one final stop if they're going to get out of here with a victory. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They only need a field goal. Obviously, the clock a huge factor. They'll be watching that. What do they need to do here, Charles? Your sequence of plays has to get you out of bounds. Completions, get out of bounds, gain some yardage. Then when the clock hits seven seconds or left, now you've got a decision. Are you in field goal range, or is it Hail Mary time? Because from seven seconds down, you don't want to take a shot that you're going to have another play. We'll see how they handle it. Now it's Tannehill. is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. An important play right here, third and 10. And I would expect pressure here. And it's complete, Henry. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. Tannehill, flushed out right. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And he's got it. It's caught for a touchdown. And they have taken the lead here in the final seconds. Sometimes you just got to marvel at how these guys can throw the football. He gave that everything he had, and it was right on the money. And as that ball was hanging in the air with the receiver streaking downfield to meet it, here in the stadium, you could just sense the crowd thinking, oh, no. And their worst fears were realized as that one turned into a long touchdown. Catch made at the 26 yard line. The Bucks take over first and 10. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. Well, this is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked up by the USC man, Adore Jackson. Oh, he's ridiculous. Well, we were on hand for a fun and entertaining game here. Coming down really to that last play. Great job defensively to get the pick and seal it. And we know that every play during a game matters. You're never sure which one's going to be one of the key ones. But at the end of the game, when you analyze it, three, four, five plays are going to be the ones you focus on. And that last play was one of them. The last shot had to take it. And they came up with the interception and sealed their victory. partner Charles Davis and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Tampa.